biggest problem i face as an inspector is that every interior contractor loves to use my facade frames as a structural member for their interior fitouts hmm. ideally not recommended hmm. i don't want even one hole on my mullion or even one hole screw on my transom hmm. ideally i want my systems as it is hmm. what these guys do they puncture the mullion they puncture the transom on to transom they'll install curtains on to mullions they'll directly terminate your uh, uh, false walls jo pseudo wall bolte hai na gypsum board so my my concern there is although the standard doesn't ask for there is no mention in the standards hmm. that there has to be a gap but when we are inspecting it we'll make sure that you don't go to that extent hmm. 5 mm gap or say 10 mm gap from the facade is very logical because in case of seismic activity the entire floor to floor drip will be drifting hmm. and if you touch the facade facade we are designing it with a floor drift hmm. there would be a uh, provision into unitized yes. to accommodate your vertical as well as horizontal moments yes the problem is if you terminate your facade exactly towards your this thing uh, for, uh, your internal finishes exactly on your uh, building uh, facade there is a much more probability of damaging your interiors hmm.